Hello Warriors fans, now that you are already subscribed to the channel let's start the video, Draymond Green and Steve Kerr on the Warriors 0-7 Misery, the Sacramento Kings beat the Golden State Warriors in their own game Sunday night, moving away to a 122-115 victory over the defending champions courtesy of three-pointers and forced turnovers. It's worth remembering that the Warriors' I-80 rivals aren't the on-court disaster they've been for the past two decades. Sacramento won four straight games to reach. 500, surrounding De'Aaron Fox and DeManta Sabonis with deft three-pointers and doing even better defensively behind former Dubs assistant Mike Brown, the new-look Kings aren't candidates, obviously, but they look destined for a play-in spot, and potentially more if the Western Conference foes far above them keep fighting. Golden State's early season jobs will likely slow down. There were at least some signs of that progress on Sunday. The starters were excellent once again. Andrew Wiggins was amazing on both ends. Clay Thompson emptied five threes, but the Warriors won't come back if they can't win away from the Chase Center, and nearly a month into the regular season they're still looking for their first win away from home. Golden State's 0 to 7 away start is the worst since 1989 to 90. You just have to understand that your margin of error away from home in this league is much smaller if you want to win games, he said. The Warriors squandered an early 15-point lead and failed to maintain multiple leads. At the critical moment, Sabonis had his way into the paint, feasting on Golden State's lack of size without Draymond Green and Kevin Looney on the ground. Many of the Warriors' 18 turnovers were self-imposed. The new bank formations were unsuccessful on both sides. When Sacramento allowed Curry to be held back until late, Golden State's offense failed. The Warriors missed and shot four times after the Kings regained the lead with just over two minutes left. All thanks to Curry's weight, there will be other nights when these jumpers will crash, leading Golden State to victory in the clutch. Clearly though, this team cannot rely on Curry's heroics on a game-by-game -game basis. More and more teams will follow Sacramento's plan to literally force the ball out of their hands. However, no readily available answer is coming for the Warriors. Until Kerr finds a more viable rotation or a youthful prospect suddenly appears, losses like Sunday's shouldn't be too surprising, Golden State, now 5-8 for the season, good for 13th in the Western Conference, is simply not a significantly superior team to Sacramento right now, they just outgrew us. Kerr said. Give them some credit, at least the Warriors can take solace, as they will be back at home at the Chase Center on Monday. Facing the San Antonio Spurs in the second leg of a back-to-back.